Trigger. Count. We've received official confirmation about what we're supposed to do with you. The company commander has made it clear he'd like you both to officially join our squadron. This is an unprecedented move. It seems like you've got some people looking out for you. Still, I think it's because of how you've conducted yourselves. I believe you'll be an asset to us. Okay, it's time for your briefing. For a long time, our counteroffensive has been overpowered by the Erosion Drone's auto-intercept system. If a craft enters their airspace and doesn't respond to their IFF, drones automatically take off and move to intercept their target. However, we've discovered that the intercept system has a blind spot. We've acquired this valuable information by sending our other squadrons on dangerous missions to scout the whole area and initiate combat. Of all the pilots assigned to us, only two managed to survive the mission. If we don't act now, before the enemy can fill in the blind spot, those pilots will have sacrificed themselves for nothing. So, we've been ordered to carry out a long-range strategic strike. Operating separately from the main forces as the long-range strategic strike group, we've been developing a strategy in secret. Cyclops Squadron and Strider Squadron will sortie deep into the Erosion territory and will be carrying out specialized long-range attack strategies. You will carve your way through the territory from the north to the capital of Farbani, attacking important targets along the way. The first operation will involve striking the enemy's main naval force, the Njord Fleet, which is gathered in northern Yuzhu. We've known for some time that there's a large supply base utilized by the enemy fleet in the waters around Snyder's Top. At present, the enemy fleet is concentrated there. Naturally, they intend to attack Eastern Yuzhu, where the Ostian forces are stationed. If we can surprise the enemy with a long-range attack, we could potentially do devastating damage to them. Still, it's highly likely that their advanced fleet are prepared and have started to move. So combat with the enemy fleet is probably unavoidable. We've verified the existence of a large supply base in the sea, as well as a medium-sized one in a valley by an estuary. It's a wide operation area, and there are a number of places you can expect large-scale combat, so we've set up a return line for replenishing supplies. Use it proactively. Anytime you feel the need to stock up on ammo or make repairs to your craft, it's there. While aircraft and ammo can be replaced, the lives of our pilots cannot. We don't want any casualties out there. Remember that. The counterattack has begun. Brace yourself.
Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. Sortie ASAP. Your first mission is to refuel midair. I'll provide you with instructions, so follow my lead. 1,500 meters to tanker. Make left. Trigger, maintain your current approach. 500 meters, you have permission to access the refueling tanker. 50 meters. Excellent work, Trigger. Refueling initiated. Maintain your current position. Trigger, the call sign is Strider 1. You will be leading Strider Squadron. Count. You'll be Cyclops 2. You'll be under Cyclops 1. Sorry, but I'm gonna eat while I work. My judgment goes fuzzy when I'm too hungry. How can you talk about food? Trigger, how come you're number one and I'm stuck as number two? Oh well, I guess I can let it slide for now. And we're just supposed to follow you? I heard you're spectacular, Captain. At least with your last squadron. I don't want you slowing us down out there. Strider 1, head back to the return line if you need repairs or fuel. Aircrafts need the E-2 in order to be effective. We have visual confirmation of the enemy fleet. You're cleared to engage. Enemy Aegis vessel intercepting incoming missiles with their sea wings. Counteract sea with below approach. Aegis missiles outside intercept range. All ships, for anti-air combat. One any dumbass that flies near our fleet. They're already firing. They think they can hit us. Make a low approach or dive to avoid their fire when you're Enemy aircraft is launched. Engage it. I think we've sunk most of the enemy fleet, but I can't tell because of all the smoke. Cyclops 2 is still shot. Half of the enemies are still around. Work by the numbers, Cal. They have a lock on me. No one of the bases are close enough to strike our supply lines. They flew in from far away, like a flock of snowbirds. Cyclops 2, stop fluttering about, stay glued to my ass! Stop treating me like a newborn chick, I've shot down my fair share of enemies. Fancy moves out there. Sharp, 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 sharp little chick. Just stick with your mother head, and you'll get back to the roost safe and sound. We've lost 80% of our fleet. We can't do any more. Prepare the lifeboat! We should have had the strategic advantage. Just who are these guys? Look at him go! Destroyer sunk! Lost engine control! Enemy fleet has been neutralized. You guys just down some serious firepower. Eh, it was a piece of cake. It's nice to have some fresh talent we can count on. Trigger one is lost its claim. Three lines. Scratches. I don't like them. I don't like sin lines. Get out! Target eliminated. Nothing. Target is in machine gun range. Approaching the marine platform. Get those planes off the runway! We have to send up fighters now! Alright, scramble! Enemy fighters have just taken off from the platform. Eliminate these fighters with extreme prejudice before they can threaten the mission. Nuke. We'll swap those flies down into the drink. Smash up that 
enemy's fleet is destroyed. Just keep hitting them, so there'll be less anti-aircraft fire to worry about. Locked on. Fox 2. Fox 2. Nice shot. Joint section destroyed. I think it's like running its anti-air capabilities. Time to stay on it.
You're past the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. The runway is clear. Teaching our hatchling how to fly? Hey, knock that off, would you? Okay, I've got a story for you. It's about a great war hero. There was once an Erujian ace known as the King of the Skies. Every pilot he faced in training said pretty much the same thing. He's like a true scary. They knew the true fear that an animal feels when it is being hunted by a predator. What about people facing an actual dogfight? No pilot came back alive. I'm not sure I buy that. Attention all aircraft. Operation complete. The enemy won't recover from this one. You did great out there. I think tonight's the night we finally opened that bottle. I think I understand the new boss's style. Our other newcomer is a unique character. <sighs> the old squad was bad, and I guess it's no different here. I could really perform, if only I had some partners I could trust. No need to worry, I got your back. Relax and do your thing. Give me a break. Sorry, but I'm gonna eat while I work. My judgment goes fuzzy when I'm too hungry. How can you talk about food? Trigger, how come you're number one and I'm stuck as number two? Oh well, I guess I can... The mission was a success. You did more to hobble the enemy's sea power than we first expected. Outstanding work. This should free up our allies who have been bogged down on the East Coast. In addition, this success allows us to finally move on and initiate the operation to shoot down the Arsenal Bird. We have a long road ahead of us. Get some rest while you can. Our counteroffensive has changed the course of the war. However, the western part of the continent and the area around the space elevator still remain under erosion control. As you all know, this is because they have those damn arsenal birds controlling the skies around the lighthouse. So, we're going to use Stonehenge for a long-range attack against the arsenal bird. In addition to helping to destroy the asteroid, Stonehenge was also utilized by the Illusion forces as a weapon in the Continental War. However, the majority of the artillery is out of action after an air raid by the Independent State Allied Forces. When that happened, the main base was being repaired from the damage caused by the asteroid, so it managed to escape the bombardment. The Ocean Army continued the repairs in secret and managed to reactivate its base systems. Once preparations are complete, we will be able to fire again. However, the officer in charge has yet to confirm whether it can be fired more than once. 
In other words, it is looking like we may have only one chance to be able to bring down one of those invulnerable arsenal birds. We're going all in on this one plan. The Erusian forces have detected our movements and are marching on Stonehenge. The arsenal bird is closing in, but if our operation goes as planned, we should be able to shoot it down before it reaches the operation area. We've set up strong points we call men here around Stonehenge. Provide them with air support while keeping air superiority. Our mission is to protect Stonehenge until it can shoot down that monster bird. If we can shoot down even just one arsenal bird, it will significantly reduce the scale of the enemy's air defense network. Stonehenge is our only way of bringing down an arsenal bird. Missing is a luxury we cannot afford. Strider Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. All defensive and air support teams, in order to get up and running, what I need most from you is time. As long as you can provide me that, my program will bring down the arsenal bird. That was Major Deanna McConey. I'm Warren Officer Lehman, a specialist. We're now commencing the operation to destroy the arsenal bird. It's gonna be a long fight. Don't waste any ammo. Strider 1, target destroyed. We've lost half our force. I've headed up to here with those damn enemy aircraft. The main call! Must destroy Stonehenge! Men here 6, enemy tanks with a head. Smoking an enemy tank. Long capture, requesting close air support. Men here 6, request for air support confirmed. Help's on the way. Listen up. Our job is to defend here. That's all, you got it? Easy. 
Hostile power supply is... Damn it. Numbers aren't going up. Bypass of the auxiliary condenser. Come on, damn it! Swarm of you 
UAVs is launching from the arsenal bird. Keep them away from Stonehenge.
thanks to you. That was a good lesson on the importance of manual control. Today's MVPs are the LRSSG. I'll say, especially the few lead birds. They're the Ocean Big Shots. We can win if we follow them! The Ocean Big Shots? You mean the Ocean Big Shot? Looks like we're on the offensive now. <laughs> the enemy's defensive range dropped along with that arsenal bird. That just means more pie for us. Are we gonna eat the whole thing? The brass is always hungry for more. They've got a bottomless appetite. But enough about that. Get some rest now before the counterattack. All defensive and air support team. In order to get up and running, what I need most from you is time. As long as you can provide me that, my program will bring down the arsenal bird. That was Major Deanna McConey. I'm Warrant Officer Lehman, Specialist. We're now commencing the operation to destroy the arsenal bird. It's gonna be a long fight. Don't waste any ammo. We must have our forces. The mission succeeded, but at a great cost. This victory marks a strategic turning point. The enemy has only one arsenal bird left, and the defensive grid around the space elevator has been decimated. We can expect a counteroffensive by Ocean forces everywhere. downtown in our capital when I recall my homeland my thoughts are filled with the sights and sounds of the city but home means something different to each and every one of us therefore I've decided to visit every place where our citizens call home the kingdom of Arugia is a land of diversity each region has its own unique and special culture The destruction of one of their arsenal birds has significantly reduced the scale of Arusha's air defense network. Ocean forces have moved into the areas where we gained air superiority and freed over half of the Yuzhian continent. However, Arusha is feeling the pressure and is reacting by attempting to activate the ballistic missile base in the suburbs of Sierra Plata. For the past 72 hours, they've put the resources and people into action and have already entered the final stages of a launch. The missile silo is deep underground. To destroy it, we'll need a bomber to drop a huge deep penetration bomb in a precise place. Unfortunately, that airspace is thick with clouds at the moment, so it'll be difficult for a bomber to hit the target accurately. Normally, we'd wait for the weather to clear, but with the situation being what it is, we don't have that option. So. We will be the bomber's eyes and find the missile silo. You'll all be equipped with targeting pods instead of special weapons. We need you to fly at low altitude, visually identify which silo they're activating, then acquire it with your targeting pod. Once you press the firing switch, the bombers will drop their payload based on the location data provided by the targeting pod. You will need to keep the silo in the center of your sight until the bomb hits its target, or else it will miss entirely. It takes a high level of airmanship to properly guide these bombs to their targets while flying in place. Naturally, we assume the enemy has positioned anti-air artillery and aircraft in the area of operations, so stay alert. Additionally, we suffered human and material losses in the last battle. 
The Cyclops Squadron will sit this one out. Trigger, it's up to you to make this work with just Strider Squadron. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. Arugia only has five IRBM silos in total. Therefore, the enemy's made a number of fake silos to try and throw our bombers off the set. Did you say fake? They're painted to look like the real thing from the sky. You can't tell the difference. Brought down that arsenal bird. We've got the boss. You do the terminal guidance. In order to use the targeting pods, you'll need to change weapons first. Try to align the missile silo with the circle in the center of your HUD. When you're lined up, hit the firing switch and the bomb will drop. You're gonna need to keep the silo aligned until the bomb hits. Keep the targeting pod trained on that silo until the payload is delivered. Bunker Buster hit its mark. Time for fireworks. Destruction of first missile silo confirmed. The IRB have a to go team garrisoning. Those lives are at stake. We have no time. They completely lost it. You can bet on it. But that's the madness. Dropping another bunker of bust will take some time. Aim carefully. Hit, but it was off the mark. Let's give him another. The warhead should be exposed. Standard weapon will for fight. It's okay. Missile silo destroyed. That makes two. No launch signs yet. We might be able to pull this off. Let's keep it up and get the rest of these silos. Picking up an enemy squad. Must be the reinforcements they called in. They don't appear to be going after our bomber. Take them out if they interfere with our mission. We did it. That takes care of that. Nice work.
Once this mission's over, I guess we'll be back under the company commander's thumb again. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. This is a serious mission. There's a wise man who gave Strider to account. Our formation changes every mission. I'm sure he has a reason for it. I'll believe that when I see it. I'm just glad he won't be there to chew my ear off. All enemy aircraft confirmed destroyed. Do we have time for the silos? Missile. silos in total. Therefore, the enemy's made a number of fake silos to try and throw our bombers off the scent. Did you say fake? They're painted to look like the real thing from the sky. You can't tell the difference. We have successfully prevented an enemy ballistic missile attack. Strider Squadron, you did very well without your unit commander. 
We are now preparing for the final stage of our long-range operation, seizing the capital.